people, I would like to thank Xsense for sponsoring this video. Xsense is a company focused on cutting edge home safety and smart home products. They sent over their Xsense Wi-Fi smoke and carbon monoxide combination alarm with voice alert function. And it has advanced functions such as real time notifications and remote control on the app. I'm just showing that it does come with everything you need, the batteries, the screws to go in the walls, all of that. It comes with everything that you need and you can actually adjust it if you need two or three or four. You can actually get however many you may need. These are perfect. Now, when I say that I think we all should have these in our home, I 100% wholeheartedly believe you need these in your home. If you're a single person, if you have a partner, if you have children, pets, you need this in your home. You want to make sure that you are safe, that you are all safe. So it only took me a minute to get everything, well, a couple minutes, to get everything set up, installed. I installed one in the kitchen, one in the upstairs hallway, and one upstairs in my bedroom, which is in the attic. I wanted to make sure that we are covered on all bases and I may actually get another one to put in the basement. Okay. <laughs> Cause they are really, really good. These are the smart interlinked smoke and carbon monoxide alarm combo detectors with voice alert. It features smart Wi-Fi functionalities and sleek ultra thin design. Okay, the XPOA-MR31 kit is crafted to offer superior protection without compromising on style. It provides you and your family with a sophisticated, interconnected safety network. They're remotely controlled home safety with the Xsense. Okay, you can stay connected with the app by connecting the base station, which I have in my kitchen, as well as this alarm. You can receive instant notifications for smoke or car carbon monoxide detection directly on your smartphone or tablet. Wireless interconnectivity. You can link multiple Xsense detectors to create a network of detectors that communicate with each other, enhancing the safety of larger properties or multiple rooms. Without the base station, you can link up to 24 links and alarms whereas with a base station which i have you can link up to 50. so if you have multiple homes if you have rental properties if you just have a, a large home with large you know with multiple rooms you can do that as well again this is such a this is a game changer it really is a game changer seriously all of this is so high powered. It tells you when there is smoke. It tells you when there is a, it gives you a warning. It does all of that. It is amazing. It really is amazing. Again, you can do everything you need to do and get all the information off of your app. And again, I do have mine on the bottom floor, which is the kitchen, the middle floor, which is upstairs bedrooms, and then in the attic. I absolutely, I think these are just amazing. These are actually going to be great Christmas gifts as well. I'm going to leave all the information down in the description box for you to check them out. And I really hope that you will because I believe, like I said, everyone should have these in their home. Thank you again, Xsense, for sponsoring this video. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to another video with your girl, Siobhan. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Hope y'all all had a beautiful Thanksgiving, no matter what you did. If you relaxed, if you shopped, if you spent time with family and friends, if you took yourself out, whatever it is you did, I hope that you enjoyed it. I went over my mother's with the kids, saw my sisters, their kids, cousins came over we had us a good time we really really did saw my brother his kids like it was nice so I'm glad I'm glad I got to spend some time with them and it's just always a good time to get together with family if you ask me I am finishing up the dining room just putting out the last little bit of decorations and I think that it turned out okay I was too tired to go in the basement and look for anything else so I used what I had and again, I think it turned out okay, to be honest with you. So let me know after you see the final reveal, if you if you like it, if you enjoyed it. I did change up a few things. Y'all know how I am. Sometimes I put things out, then I move them around. By the final reveal, you'll see where everything is at. All right, let's get into it.
Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for Santa tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing. I have purchased these gold bubble uh, bows basically from Burlington. They were very inexpensive, guys. They were like four dollars. Mm, four, yeah, like three ninety nine, I believe. And I had no idea where I was going to use them, but I knew I was going to use them. And I decided to hang them up on these mirrors that I have in my dining room. And I love it. I just think it's a cute little touch. Nothing special. I was going to put one on the banister in my hallway, but I'm not going to decorate that because I did. I do have everything, almost everything that I need to redo the entryway. And so I really would like to get that done before Christmas. I don't know if I can. I mean, all, all I can do is try, but I'm not going to decorate the entryway hallway because I really want to try to get that done. So here I'm just adding the bows to the mirror and I used some command hooks that I picked up. They actually had them on sale at Walgreens, buy one, get one 50% off. I think that was the best deal that I've seen. And I usually will pick mine up if I go to like Target or Walmart, but I did stop in, in Walgreens to get another Santa picture that I had printed. And yeah, I was like, oh, these are nice. Okay. So anyway, like I said, I'm just hanging these up right here. I am going to clean off my gold shelves as well and start decorating those in a moment. And yeah, it's not going to take us long to get this decorated because I'm not going to overdo it with too much decor. And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace
yes, beautiful people. So I'm trying really hard not to over decorate, <laughs> not to over decorate. I did have an idea of using some boxes that I got from Burlington. So I am using those. I may go back and add a little touch of just change it up a little bit more with the color. But for right now, I'm gonna leave them how they are. You'll see them momentarily. I'm just dusting off these shelves and then I'm going to start adding the decor that I have for this space. And again, like I told y'all, I had about eight containers that came up from the basement and I was not going down there or I was not having the kids go down there and get any more decor. So we just used what we had. I used the rest of what I had and I made do. I think everything, like I said, I think it turned out really, really nice. And I may add a little bit more color to these boxes that I picked up. But for now, I think it'll do. Now, I did start playing around with some decor here. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't like that. Let me take that down. Let me move this. Let me try that. Until I was finally loving how everything turned out. So you'll see how it comes together. You'll see how it comes together in a moment. And I was just trying to make sure that I incorporated the pink and a little bit of red into the dining room as well. So let me know if anyone went Black Friday shopping. I did go out Black Friday shopping and it was crazy. I had specific things that I wanted to pick up, which I did. And I tried to record a little bit, beautiful people, but it was so many people out. Now I'm glad I went out because I just wanted to get out the house. I just wanted to get out and look around and see what they had. But um, everything that I picked up, I could have ordered online. Let's be honest. <laughs> Black Friday shopping is not the same. I remember when the kids were little, how I would go Black Friday shopping. I remember one year I went to Toys R Us. Yes. And they had us in a line and you had to walk through the store in a line. And I remember these two women were fighting. They started fighting over this toy. And oh my gosh, it was a mess. And the, the store employee was like, what are you doing? We have more in the back. Like, calm down. They were both arrested. I remember that. It was crazy, crazy. I remember another year I went Black Friday shopping. I was pregnant and somebody hit me in the stomach with a cart. And I was so, so upset. Like I was freaking out. I was so upset because I'm like, it's really not that serious. It's really not that serious. This year, like I said, Black Friday shopping. It was a lot of people, but it was... It was okay. Like, I, I think it was okay. I was on the phone with my mom and my best friend. So I was talking to them. I talked to my mom first, and then I talked to my best friend. And like I said, everything that I picked up, I could have got online, but I did want to go into the stores. So I'm glad with the purchases that I got. I did want to go to the mall. I ended up, I opted out of not going to the mall. And I just came back home and ordered again, order the stuff. But I think if I would have went in the mall, I would have found a few more deals. Um, I really wanted to go to H&M. I really wanted to go to, uh, what is it called? Bath and Body Works. I wanted, wanted to go to like just a few other stores in the mall, of course, um, Champs, Finish Line, things like that. But again, I just ordered stuff off of the Nike app and I ordered stuff off of the what is it called? The Finish Line app. And yeah. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know if y'all went Black Friday shopping or if y'all just ordered everything online. Let me know. But again, personally, I am happy that I, I picked up the stuff that I picked up because I feel like I got a good deal on the stuff that I got. Now, I don't think the deals were that great. Like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. But one of the items that I picked up for a Yana was $150 off. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good deal. So I feel like I got a good deal on some things. Hey, Santa, the city is covered in did my love go Santa I'm waiting for him but he's nowhere inside and all of the presents are still by the tree they don't mean a thing till he's here with me if you know where he is please give him a ride and I 
usually on the mantle I will put garland but this year I decided not to put any garland on the mantle and I did the mantle pretty simple but I do like the way that it turned out so I just used my nutcrackers I used the you'll see I have a Christmas countdown and yeah it's pretty it's pretty simple a candle of course things like that but I do like the way that it turned out so I didn't overdo it I would have loved to go out and find the garland that has been trending it's like it looks really really natural really really real but I wasn't going out and buying any more garland or anything I just didn't feel like it so I again used for the most part what I had I did get some new things y'all saw that I, I bought a, a couple of new things but for the most part I just used what I had I'm smiling but feeling empty inside cause all of the presents are still by the tree they don't mean a thing till he's here with me if you know Does anyone plan out like their December calendar? I know there are a few things that I definitely want to do, so I'm trying to plan that out. So for example, I want to go see Mariah Carey's Christmas. She's coming here and I wanna go see her in concert. And then there were a couple places that I wanna take the kids. They want to go see Moana too. So I wanna take them to go see Moana too. And then of course the lights and different things like that. Um, I want us to go skating. Now, I am not a big fan of like rollerblading, but ice skating to me is very similar to rollerblading and I feel like I'm going to break my ankles or something like that, but I've never done it. I've been so intimidating, but I do want to go this year. I want us to go ice skating. So that's on the list. Um, what else? But yeah, so I'm in the process of just trying to plan that out just to, you know, make sure that we can cross some things off of our Christmas winter bucket list of course <laughs> and then also what I did another thing guys which I can do I took these pictures down and I wrapped them in wrapping paper I actually you'll see that I did decide not to put them up but again it is a good idea you don't have to you don't have to spend a lot of money on Christmas decor. You really don't. You really don't. I got this wrapping paper from Walmart for $5. When I tell you this roll is so super thick, it's so thick. And I meant to grab some more when I was out doing Black Friday shopping. Uh, not the same kind of wrapping paper. I want to get something different, but this quality of wrapping paper is amazing. So I think I got a bunch of wrapping paper downstairs in the basement. That's why I didn't um, actually make myself go back and get it but I'm gonna go and check in the basement and then if I need any more wrapping paper I'm definitely gonna grab it from Walmart because this was amazing and I'm one of those people where I do like to wrap the gifts now this year I probably won't have a lot of things to wrap because the kids I told y'all they want money and different things like that they don't want a ton of stuff stuff so I may not have that much to wrap which is fine but of course I'm gonna wrap you know nieces and nephews and um, siblings presents and things like that but yeah the quality of this wrapping paper is amazing it really is amazing so I wrapped these up and then I hung them up but I decided to take them down but yeah I really like the way everything turned out in the dining room for the most part I may add just a few more pops of red in here but you will see that when I do the home tour if I decide to change up anything <laughs> So beautiful people here is the final reveal i really hope you enjoyed the video thank y'all for watching happy vlogmas december 1st wow december 1st i love y'all to the moon and back i hope y'all have a beautiful day and yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe and come back for all of this amazing amazing content i'm so excited so let's see the final reveal and i will talk to y'all in tomorrow's video bye you, me, you, me.